Hello everyone, welcome to LRDM Prep. My name is Samir Sodana, a plus educator on Unacademy. Guys, this is 10 Minute Daily Quant with Samir, episode number four. In this series, we are discussing best questions of Quant. This particular question is from the concept of LC Medicine, a very, very tricky question, a beautiful question, guys. Let's have a look at it. It says when a sum of two natural numbers is added to the LCM, a sum of 89 is obtained, how many such pair of numbers exist? So we have two number, N1 plus N2. And these two number submission is added to the LCM of N1 and N2, and you're getting a value which is equal to 89. And you're supposed to find out how many such pairs of number N1 and N2 exist. See that now. There has to be now N1 and N2. There can be two cases. Either N1 and N2 will be co-prime or they will have something in common. Because this question involves the concept of LCM of N1 and N2. Let's assume that number N1 and N2 to be the multiple or you can, uh, uh, multiple of H, or you can say the highest common factor of N1 and N2 is H. So let's assume N1 and N2 be H A and H B. What is H? H is a HCF of N1 and N2. H is equal to HCF of N1 and N2. Why I'm doing this? H can be one also, right? If N1 and N2 are co-prime, H will automatically come out to be as one. If they are not co-prime, then there will be something common between these two numbers. But when I'm saying that H is a HCF of N1 and N2, that means that means the highest common, highest common factor that divide both of these two numbers is H. So A and B has to be co-prime. Right? So when I'm saying highest common factor is H, so A and B should be co-prime. A and B should be co-prime with each other, right? A and B should be co-prime with each other. So one thing that you're supposed to know. Now, now if I assume the number to be, when I assume the number to be uh, H1 and H2, now use this concept here, right? Use the concept here that H, H A plus H B plus their LCM, right? Now, when the two number LCM, right? The numbers are H A and H B. LCM mean the least common multiple, right? The least common multiple will obviously be H A B, right? So H A plus H B plus H A B, that is their LCM is equal to 89 as per the statement of the question. When I take H as common, this would be A plus B plus AB, right? This HAB is the LCM of HA and HB, least common multiple. This is equal to 89. I see that 89 is a prime number here. So can I say the only way to write down 89 as a product of two numbers is one into 89. So that means H is equal to one. So H is equal to one. That means A and B are completely co-prime with each other. With each other. Or you can say number one and number natural number one and natural number two are completely co-prime with the, each other because highest common factor is one. So if H is one, then I can say that A plus B plus AB will be equal to 89. Now, how will you find out how many such pair of number exist such that A plus B plus AB is equal to 89? So very beautiful concept here that you must have learned in the number system. To solve expression like this, just add one on both sides. Why I'm doing so? Why I'm doing so? So that when I'm taking B as common here, you'll get A plus one, and then you can write it down, this as A plus one. And finally, you can take A plus one common from the complete expression. And now you see that this expression will now be written as A plus one into B plus one equal to 90. Now, when I say A plus one into B plus one is 90, A and B are supposed to be co-prime with each other. Now, just find out the factorization form of 90. That is two, uh, into five, uh, two into three power two into five. That's a factorization form. Now the number of factors of 90, number of factors of 90 are equal to, this is one, so one plus one multiplied by two plus one multiplied by one plus one, right? So the number of factors of 90 are two into three into two, that is 12. That means 90 can be written as 90 can be written as in 12 different possible ways as a product of these two numbers, a plus one into b plus one, right? This is the concept of number of factors, right? So for example, now, now you just have to see, you'll have to see all those cases where a plus one into b plus one is equal to 90 and a and b should be co-prime with each other. If I take the first case, one into 90, 
you see that a here will be zero this case will be eliminated because a cannot be zero a and b has to be co prime right and then the second case is 2 into 45 2 multiplied by 45 and this case you see that a will be 1 and b will be 44 so this will work because here you see that both of these two values are co prime with each other now in these two cases you see that if i add the number 1 with 44 and add the LCM, the LCM of both these two numbers is 44, you see that this number is equal to 89. So similar to this, you're supposed to find out all the such possible pair. Second is, you can take the case as 3 into 30. When you take 3 into 30, here A will be 2 and B will be 5, B will be 29. This will also work, this will also work, right? Next would be the case of, uh, when you take the case as, uh, you know, 5 into, 5 into, uh, 18. In this case, A will be 4 and B will be 17. They are co-prime. So this case will also work. Next would be 6 into 15. In this case, A and B would be 5 and 14. This will also work. Next, you can see that uh, would be uh, 9 into 10. Here the case would be 8 and 9. These two are again co-prime with each other. And the next pair, the next pair would be uh, 15, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yes. Next would be 15 into 6. That would be 14 and 5 case. That would be same as this one. That would be same as this one. Are we supposed to take this case? No. Why? Because we are not supposed to find out the ordered pair. We are supposed to find out the pairs of numbers. So you see that this case is eliminated. This is working. This is working. This is working. This is working, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 such cases are there, right? In this case, A and B are co-prime with each other. This case also A and B are co-prime with each other. In the case of 14 and 17, the numbers are co-prime with each other, right? So all these five cases will work. So the answer to the question is option number B. Five pairs of number exist so that submission of the number with the LCM will be equal to 89. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, So guys, there are last three days left for before the price hike happening on Unacademy Plus subscription. If you guys are preparing for Unacademy Plus, use the referral code LADS near live to Unacademy Plus subscription. And you can get your admission on these discounted prices before 31st of March. These new prices will be effective from 31st of March. There are only three days left before the price hike. So subscribe to Unacademy Plus as soon as possible. Iconic Plus subscription prices will also be going up. Um, also, the weekly scholarship test, the next weekly scholarship test will be happening on next Sunday, upcoming Sunday at 12 p.m. You can register now, completely free of cost. And for the registration, you can use my referral code, LRDS Meet Life. This is a referral code that you can use to, to register yourself for the test. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next part.